Hi, in this video tutorial we'll be learning how to create a brick texture just like this one over here. So I'll just minimize this and open a new document of width 50 by height 50. Now this is going to be our brick pattern so let's just go ahead and create it. Make a selection with your square marquee tool. Then go to edit stroke and give a stroke of two pixels on the inside. So you have this. Then go and select your line tool. And go ahead and give these settings. Your fill pixels should be selected. The weight has to be 4 pixels, opacity 100, and the anti-alias checkbox should be unchecked. Then first draw a horizontal line with the line tool. And then draw a vertical line, so you have this. and then select your marquee tool. You might just want to zoom in for more clarity. Then with your marquee tool make a selection like this and fill that part with white. Then drag your selection to the other side and also repeat the process. So you have this and you can zoom out if you wish. So this is going to be our pattern for the bricks. So I'll just go and edit, define pattern and give the pattern name that is brick. And I'm going to close it if you want. Now let's just create a new document which is of 400 by 300 pixels. I'll select channels and new alpha channel. Just create a new alpha channel. And go to edit fill and fill with our pattern so we have our pattern filled up and go to filter blur Gaussian blur and give a radius of 2.5 pixels and hit OK so we have this so far our pattern has been applied and now let's just go ahead and give some textures to it so it looks more realistic. Then go to image adjustments and levels and give these dimensions. Input levels are 110, 1 and 185 so that the sliders appear closer together and the corners of the bricks become nice and rounded. And then again go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. And I'll give you a radius of 5 pixels. So it appears really very blurry. And hit OK. And this is what we have so far. Then go to edit, fade Gaussian blur. Give an opacity of 80% and the mode should be linear burn. Click OK and we have this so far. And go to filter, noise, add noise. The distribution should be uniform 
and the amount should be something under 12 percent so I'm just giving 9.27 percent the amount hit OK and we have this so far then go to layers and make our background active so we have this don't be afraid now we'll just add our bricks right now then go to our colors and choose a 50% gray color select a linear gradient and draw a gray to white gradient then go to filter render lighting effects and from the texture channel select our alpha 1 so we can start seeing the bricks over here and now give these settings in the lighting effects light type has to be spotlight and then select a nice color which resembles a brick intensity could be 32 focus 100 gloss matte could be minus 53 material could be 68 exposure is 0 ambience negative of course texture channel is alpha like we selected and height could be 50 mountainous and try to get your circle somewhat like this and this is what we have so far Now click on channels and control click on your alpha 1 layer so you have this then go back to your layers and hit control J on your keyboard J as in Jack and Jill so that your bricks layer gets copied onto a new layer and select your background layer again and hit control U on your keyboard U as an umbrella to open up the U and saturations box then move your saturation slider to the extreme left so that you can get a nice cement look between the bricks hit OK now here we have our nice bricks with mortar and cement in between them but we can give one more final touch for that select your eraser tool and use one of the preset brushes like these select your top layer and you can draw some strokes like that to create that spoiled look and here you have your realistic brick texture and I hope you enjoyed it thank you